nanotechnology we will see just the historical background in 1960s you just hear me out and uh, just appreciate what happened and then we'll see we'll write write about it also so in 1960s there was a physicist known as richard feynman richard feynman so he he gave a talk he gave a talk and in that talk his uh, the name of the talk was there is there is plenty of space at the bottom there is plenty of space at the bottom and he gave this talk in 1959 in this talk he mentioned that scientists can manipulate individual atoms also scientists can manipulate individual atoms from here the journey of nanotechnology began but there was a problem during this time that scientists were not able to see individual atoms you need very powerful microscopes to see individual atoms but 19 by 1960s and 1970s there were no powerful microscopes which could see these individual atoms and molecules only in 1981 with the development of a scanning tunneling microscope were scientists able to see individual atoms and molecules so the modern nanotechnology is said to have begun its journey only after the invention of scanning tunneling microscope so richard feynman he is considered to be basically the father of nanotechnology but the term nanotechnology was not coined by him in during 1959 or 1960s a decade later it was another professor professor norio tani guchi who coined this term nanotechnology so nanotechnology the modern nanotechnology began its journey after the invention of scanning tunneling microscope is that okay okay so this part you can write then we'll see what happened after that historical background the ideas and concepts behind <clears throat> nano science the ideas and concept behind nano science and nano technology started with a talk started with a talk there is plenty of space at the bottom think what is what could be the meaning bottom ka matlab basically when we see things at the scale of atom that is the basically the atom we see things from top view but we are not looking at the atomic level or the subatomic level okay so the chemical reactions that we do we do at do it at bulk level but not at nano level that is the idea here okay what have you written that plenty of space at the bottom given by given by richard feynman Richard Feynman in 1959 he said that scientist would be able to he said that scientists would be able to manipulate and control individual atoms scientists would be able to manipulate and control individual atoms however the term nanotechnology was coined by 
प्रोफेसर नोरियो तानीगुची बाय प्रोफेसर नोरियो तानीगुची अ डेकेड लेटर अ डेकेड लेटर only with the discovery of scanning tunneling microscope